swearing is often seen as more vice than virtue. But it turns out there's more to swearing than just the shock factor. It can boost your performance. Really? In the UK, we can be pretty potty-mouthed. In fact, almost 90% of Britons swear an average of 14 times a day. Some people manage that before breakfast. Jesus Christ, what is that? I wouldn't feed that ass to my dog! That is disgusting! What is this crap? Whereas others take all day. Oh, bollocks! Swearing is a multi-purpose tool. In the right context, it can help with relieving stress, exclaiming excitement, Fuck yeah! and boosting friendship. I fucking love you! But swearing can also help you deal with pain, improving your performance. To test this theory, I'm going to take part in two strenuous physical challenges to see if swearing helps me overcome pain and improve my stamina and strength. I will complete each challenge twice. For attempt number one, I'll be banned from swearing. If I really feel I need to, I can use a neutral word like aubergine. For number two, I'll be free to let it rip, swearing as much as I like. Welcome to the Swear Olympics. Challenge one, stamina. Three, two, one. Here I'm recreating a study by Professor Richard Stevens from Keele University, where two groups were asked to pedal as hard as they could on a stationary bike for a set amount of time. He found that those who were allowed to swear increased their power outage by 4.8%. That may not sound like a lot, but that extra boost can mean the difference between winning and losing. So, will swearing help? I feel awful. I'm not very fit, am I? Brian Cox never had to do this shit. That's a win for swearing! Challenge two, strength. Three, two, one. In Professor Stevens' second experiment, participants were tested on their grip strength. On average, swearing increased grip strength by 8.2%, an extra 2.1 kilograms of pure strength. Will this extra swearing strength increase my serve speed? Another win for swearing, which bumped up my average serve speed by an extra 13 kilometers an hour. So, swearing improved my performance in both stamina and strength more than using neutral words. And Professor Stevens has also shown that when people swear, they can endure pain for nearly 50% longer than when they don't. In his study, the volunteers' heart rates went up the same amount regardless of whether or not they were swearing. However, when they could slip in a few bad words, their perception of how much pain they were in went down. So where does this increased power actually come from? It's not exactly clear why swearing helps, but Professor Stevens thinks that it may be that swearing improves performance psychologically. When we let go and worry less about getting injured or embarrassing ourselves, we might not hold back as much from hitting our peak performance. And when we swear, it's just easier to get into that mindset and not give a shit. Professor Stevens also theorized that the psychological letting go from swearing could improve more than just physical exertion, perhaps boosting non-strength-based tasks like balancing or even cognitive performance. Aha! So maybe it's time to chill the fuck out about swearing, because cursing really can boost performance. As for me, I'm going to try out my new technique in my workouts.